Hello, and welcome back to uh, AD&D Eye of the Beholder. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. We've got ourselves our first key. Oh, there. Uh, Dark Crust is hungry. Everyone's a little bit hungry. Uh, we do have spells. I haven't used any spells yet. We can use spells. We have Bless and Cure Light Wounds. I'm not sure what Bless does. I wish I... Uh, I have the manual open here. We could we can find out together. The manual for this game, as I was saying before, it really it, like it does make me nostalgic. Um, let me see here. First level mage spells. How did we get? A, how do we get a mage? I, I would like to get a mage. I would have liked to have had to. I've I've always been very um, cautious of wizards playing any kind of wizard or in any kind of setting. Um, because they are complicated. Uh, upon uttering this spell, the morale of the entire party is raised. All characters gain a, a bonus to their attacks. Bo blessed spells are not cumulative. Blessed can be cast by paladins. Okay, well, there you go. Um, protection from evil. We got some real classic spells, you know? Uh, and I like that a lot. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look around. We've, we've got two doors. We got a key. We are uh, keyhole and we got another keyhole. So oh, and we have a third keyhole. So we have to choose our direction Choose your pain Um, so why don't we go ahead and open up? I wonder if ice cap should be in the front. Well, how's ice caps? Um, constitution, it's not bad 14 Um cold brew. Oh, yeah cold brew's got that constitution they got it going on. And they are a fighter cleric, so I think they'll be fine. Um, all right, let's do... Also, uh, It's recommended in the book to have this open. Actually, like, generally speaking at all times. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw this in the, our right door. I think that's a sling. Oh, what happened? I got kind of turned around there. Sling. We can give that to Dubs. Um, maybe I'll figure that out a bit later. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll figure it out now. This is uh, another thing that's um, you know I, I'm I'm used to in um, oh this is, inventory management is a little bit cumbersome. I won't lie. Uh, I'm used to in, in Legend of Grimrock is I know I know what some of this stuff is um, I noticed that it's not making can, why can't we use this can she not is she not proficient with a sling can I put that in there hmm can't put that item there. Maybe it has to be in her other hand. Interesting. Um, okay, I'll figure that out later, maybe. I could, you know what, we could just like look up sling in the manual and see. Find sling. Place the weapon in the character's primary hand. Uh, and place ammunition in the secondary hand. Okay, I can do that. That does make sense. Okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. I was being silly. So we'll put some rocks in her secondary hand and can, let's try it out. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, now we... <laughs> what is that on the wall? Uh-oh. Am I? Where am I? It looks like I'm trapped. An odd carving to place here. Hmm. Oh. 
Interesting. Huh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, so if you can see in the bottom right corner, if you look at the companion uh, app in the bottom right corner, you can see that it's showing me that there's a grayed out wall there. Like I'm when I look at the screen, there's just a wall. But then if I actually move in that direction, I can stand inside that wall. So it's an illusion. Do we did we automatically pick up that rock? I didn't really mean to. An odd carving carving to place here. Um, hmm. It, I mean, it looks like a dagger, obviously. Not sure if uh, it does anything for us. I wish, yeah, I do wish we auto picked up things like in Grimrock, but you know, I know it's that's asking a lot. So we can throw things through the illusionary wall. Hmm. This is interesting. Um, let's see. Can we put... We'll put something down on the... On the pressure plate. No, we won't. I don't think the pressure... Like, I, it hasn't really clicked at all. Mage scroll to detect magic. Mage scroll of armor. Mage scroll of bless. Oh, cleric scroll of bless. Okay. All right, well... Um, it looks like a something. Well, we have more stuff to do over here. You can, I think. Oh, what's that? This is an orc rune of passage. Oh God, we just got teleported. This is one of those teleporting mazes. Orc rune of passage. That's not the same orc rune. Uh, rations taken. I heard something. Well, we got a key. That's the important part. I think I accidentally solved this room. It seems to me you want to walk, um, wherever there is a rune. Hmm. Can we back up into it? No. This is an orc rune of passage. You'd think that it being on the left side here, I could go left. But that is not the case. And then there's an orc rune here. But it doesn't really do anything. So, we, like, when we travel, go through the or this right side, we don't get teleported. You, I don't know, maybe it's an arrow that points right? Okay, well, that seemed to work. Wait, what? Did I get teleported again without even realizing it? <laughs> oh, that's so trippy. Like, I thought, I think... Okay, never mind. I'm I'm just dumb. Hmm. There's only two ways we can go, and both of them teleport me apparently. Orc rune of passage. You'd think that reading it or clicking on it would give you um, let you walk through it. So maybe we go over here and then we read it. Work rune of passage. Nope. Work rune of passage. So there's one on that wall there.
It's it's funny how labyrinthine this feels when we know it's just like a figure eight. I'm just like looking at the walls. Nope. Hmm. Or current of passage. Getting back is uh, seems to be more difficult than getting getting there in the first place. You think you you would think that just like following the the runes would do it. No teleport, teleport. And then the adventurers starved to death. Hmm. I, I would think that just like going the correct um, direction would be enough. Just like make sure that you're going the right direction and that you are looking at all of the runes. Make sure you look at all of the runes. And no, still, still no. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. Um, I start throwing things. <laughs> There's a slimy, smelly drain pipe here, which reveals nothing. There doesn't seem to be... There's no switches revealed. I don't want to, I don't want to, like, look up any hints yet. This, I mean, this to me looks like an arrow that points right. But it's not, it doesn't seem to be doing that. Orc Rune of Passage. I wish I could maybe make marks. Can I make marks on the on the app? You can kind of click on stuff. Oh, we can right click, add a note. Huh. You can show buttons, illusionary walls. Right now, oh, I see. So right now it's it's showing buttons, but I have turned off illusionary walls. Monsters, items, hints, notes, party indicator. Map window docking. Combat HUD docking. There's quite a, a few options here. Rule book, clue book. Tweaks, relaxed item restrictions, identified items. Okay. Um, hmm. I almost feel like the auto mapper is maybe a cheat. Maybe I shouldn't have an auto mapper. But, you know, we're using it. Hopefully you're cool with it. You, the viewer. I wonder if there's a spell I could use that would um, indicate. What is, what's in here? There seems to be movement inside this floor drain. Orc Rune of Passage. There's a rock over there. Doesn't really it didn't really do much good to throw that, but we did. So this is an Orc Rune of Passage. I've said that a lot, haven't I? I 
Or maybe you just like run around this thing enough times and it will it'll teleport us. There's a it, very much no way. Maybe one of these are illusionary walls. Oh, that's it. That was it. Oh, that's clever. I like that a lot. Right. Okay. Oh, they did it. They actually conveyed that really well. And and we even know we there's an, since we know that there's an extra secret here for us to to discover, which I I, I think is awesome. But yeah, they they conveyed that well because um they they showed us in earlier rooms hey by the way there's illusionary walls um you're going to encounter those so uh get ready for that is there anything else in there here so that's that was that's really clever i i appreciate that a lot actually I'm glad that the um the the map my auto mapper didn't spoil that because it could have very easily have spoiled that. Okay, so we have a, a second key, but there's still more to do here. Or haha, <laughs> dead end or current of passage, my dude. Mage scroll of shield taken. We'll have to figure out what to do with these scrolls later. Oh god! Oh, that scared me actually a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if she can't reach the guy. Yeah, because uh, she's in the the wrong. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Okay, that hurt. Actually, no, we're fine. We're fine. I, I thought we were taking some nasty damage, but we weren't. Is that other zombie still alive? Was that a zombie even? Felt like a zombie. Can we put daggers in uh, your other hand as well? Now this symbol, this symbol, I, I don't yet fully understand yet. And it, it, clearly these symbols are, are the key to understanding a lot of things in this game. So we can put daggers in both their hands and we should because, um, you know, why not? Last time there was a dagger, uh, a dagger symbol on the wall. There was also an illusionary wall. So maybe there's one here. Hmm. The only illusionary wall is the one I came in through. What an odd carving the place here. I agree. The last time there was one here, uh, there, there, w okay, I'm looking at the map. There was a pressure plate on the ground. So maybe there's a pressure plate here that I don't know about. But I didn't really fully understand that pressure plate either. So. Um, we'll figure this out maybe later. I'd love, you know, if it was just attack it or attack the opposing wall, we'll, we'll figure that out later. Uh, why don't I put a, a, a little thing on our, on our map here? 
Um, actually, am I facing the right way? Here it is. I want to make sure I put it on the right one. Um, add note. Uh, dagger. Is my caps on? Dagger um, symbol. Cool. Okay, so now we we have a mark there, and I, I guess you can't see my hover over uh, icons, unfortunately, but I, I see that it says there dagger symbol. So we can we can come back to that later. Okay, let's leave. And that's pretty much everything um, for this for this area and first door. So I, I keep trying to talk about Undermountain, um, and I keep getting distracted. But basically, Undermountain is a giant sprawling dungeon that takes that takes the entirety of uh, the like underneath Waterdeep. What is that? Only the strong shall pass. Only the strong shall pass. I don't know if I like that. Let's, uh, I guess we don't have a choice now. We have to do this. Oh. So, right. We weren't strong enough? <laughs> when in doubt, just like attack the button. The party forces the door. Oh, right. Okay. I forgot that that was a thing you could do. We have something over there. We have our first skeleton. We might want to set up a, a bless. I know that the, um, the cleric can set up some stuff. No one is able to pry this door open. Are you able to poke the... There's a button in there. Hmm. Also, cold brew leveled up. Is there, like, are we supposed to do stuff there? I don't think so. You have a quiver? Oh, you have a quiver. Does everyone have a quiver? Yeah, everyone has a quiver. Good to know, actually. Well, that saves me a little bit of inventory space at the very least. Um. All right, well, we'll come back to this. There's other doors to explore, maybe. So we can force the... You know what? We should um, do a bless. Uh, I actually realized I, I don't... There's some something else not being displayed for you, unfortunately. Uh, but I have um, on the top of the screen, it shows me what we're fighting and also like how much health they have left so you're not getting to see that unfortunately I, I, I this is a work in progress potion taken we have a potion i wonder if we can use that on the on the bars oh look at that look at that there is a dagger here should go ahead and make a mark uh, make a note of that dagger Symbol. So upstairs, illusionary wall. Hmm. I wonder, like, we could like leave a dagger here. And uh maybe we have to leave a dagger in all of those other spots as well. It's worth a try, you know? It does actually auto pick up. Wait, no, it doesn't. Okay. So then we're going to go over here. And um, leave a dagger here. You know, you, you never know. It might be, it might be something. These are daggers, right? Yeah, dagger. 
you do seem to auto turn occasionally which is uh can disorient you if i was playing this game without an auto map i would be very lost so that doesn't seem to, that didn't seem to do anything potion taken can we use this on the bars no one is able to pry the okay um can you use your lock pick on it no what an odd carving to place here it might maybe it's not a dagger it really looks like a dagger to me it looks like a sideways dagger it, i i mean it, i think it's supposed to look like that What? What did that do? Oh, Cold Brew's Bless spell expires. Oh, that, that worked. Throwing the dagger at it worked. Why didn't I try that? <laughs> Seems obvious now that I think about it. I don't like this big open room. This is like our first big open room. Big open room with one switch in it. Does that not make you um, a little bit nervous? Let's examine the walls before we uh, do anything else here. Okay, well, it looks like we're doing this. I wouldn't mind, maybe we should eat some food. Uh, I don't know how to eat food. Oh wait, we put it here? There you go. Perfect. So this is commission letter and letter of Marky. Can we read this? I think I think we have to read this in the manual. So I did promise I would read that. So why don't we read that before we press this button? Um, I've got it here. This document. Wait a minute. And it, just so you, for the record, in the manual it looks like. Uh, it actually looks like a, a, a script. It isn't just like Is it it isn't just plain text. It's actually got like a little scroll This document is a binding commission of service to the boards and sovereign city of Waterdeep The bearers of this document are agents of the boards of Waterdeep and are granted full rights of passage beneath the city of Waterdeep Any who would dare interfere risk this risk the full penalty of our wrath Information has been presented to us that there is a plot afoot in our city. Evidence points to the sewers that run beneath Waterdeep. We have no information about the exact nature of the threat, but we feel the urgency is grave. We commission you to find the nature of the danger and destroy it if you are able. You are granted full rights of marquee. All treasure artifacts or other valuables are yours by rights of conquest. Um, this writ is made legal and binding by our mark on this fifth day of um, um marionth marionoth in the year of shadows pergeron the chief lord of waterdeep has called the party to a meeting and gives you the following letter uh i've visited both Anne and kalimshan these cities have given us trouble in the past. I suspected that our problems now might be their doing, but I find no evidence of it. My information seems clear on, on this point at least. None have even heard of our elusive Xanathar. If you don't know who Xanathar is, Xanathar is a very big deal in uh, Forgotten Realms and forgot, uh, the you know specifically Waterdeep. I'm pressing the button now, and we will set forth. Cold Brew uses the power to turn undead. I didn't realize she could do that, like, just naturally. Or, or passively, I should say. You gotta watch out. These little alcoves... Yeah, um... They can actually be triggers.
They can potentially um, trigger the opening or closing of doors. Um, and like that's a problem when you, uh, you know, when there's monsters behind those doors. And generally speaking, in these dungeons, the worst thing that can happen to you is a monster has been let loose that you're not, you know, super aware of. Okay, we're, we're making good progress here. We got our first pit trap. Uh, apparently pulling that switch removes it. What is this? Watch your step. We've got our ladder down. Uh, we have um, a pressure plate. Does that that didn't remake the pit behind us? Okay, we've got a, a real labyrinth here. Okay, some that button removed one pit trap and then uh, created another. So we do have to watch out. Um, maybe don't push buttons while we're on a potential pit trap. Also, maybe make a note of... I guess I can see where the pit trap appears on my, uh, my map. I, 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 you know, people, I feel like some people are going to feel like... Yeah, that, I was worried. I was like, I, I could just, like, put something on the, that pressure plate, but I might actually be standing on a hole... Um, I feel like some people are going to feel like using the auto mapper is removing a little bit of the mystique of, uh, of the game, but I, I feel like it's almost necessary. Okay, there's something there. Rations taken. Key found. I guess if we had opened this door first, then we would have needed another key. Um, oh, I guess this wasn't a pressure plate. It was, um, I mean, it was a pressure plate, but it wasn't the kind of pressure plate that uh, you only, you need to hold something down on. Rather a pressure plate that um, just, you know, gets triggered from, from walking on. Okay, I think we're good. I might like to take my dagger back, but um, that could be bad actually, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, that means that we have another. Hey, where am I? Oh no, I fell down. I accidentally fell down. In the uh, Grimrock, there's a really scary sound that happens when you fall into a pit trap. It's like your your main dude going ah and you like fall down <laughs> and when it happens uh, unexpectedly it's scary every single time oh you have a staircase up or a ladder up okay i don't think anyone took any damage which is nice oh never mind we, we took a lot of damage from that so let's go ahead and rest up can we scribe scrolls you don't have any mage able to scribe scrolls Memorize spells. Yeah, so the thing about wizards... Wait, you don't have any cleric able to pray... Oh, okay, so I, you know, I guess... We're, she's not dead, but... She can't uh, pray for, for spells when she's injured. The thing about wizards, they, um... They, 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 they've come with a lot of baggage, you know? Um, the classic wizards is they have a book of spells, you yeah? know? Um, but they don't start, like, the book doesn't start with spells in it. Instead, they have to find spells in the form of scrolls. And, I mean, like, you know, you know how scrolls, uh, spell scrolls work, right? You read the scroll, and you cast the spell. Makes sense, right? Um, problem is, is that if you're a wizard, uh, if you cast the spell from the scroll, 
then the scroll disappears and now you don't have a scroll, right? So how do you put it into your book? Well, you have to transcribe it. So um, wizards have to spend quite a lot of time and energy and effort and all kinds of resources. You have to spend money and buy scrolls and transcribe it into your uh, into your little nerd book. That's why I keep a nerd book. I don't know if you knew that. Um, give me a second here. So that dagger seems to me that da the 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 dagger symbol meant throw a dagger. So we can throw a dagger. I don't think this is going to do anything, but uh, predictably it didn't seem to do anything. But then again, um, it seemed to me that the dagger symbol meant to throw a dagger in the direction that it's pointing. So we can try that. And it didn't seem to do much either. Uh, lastly, we can try and throw a dagger at the dagger symbol. Yeah, that didn't do anything either. Uh, it might also mean like, like maybe that dagger symbol is already spent. Maybe there's nothing there left to do. Um, so what we can do is uh, we can try over here, see if there's anything left to do over here. Nope. May as well, you know, we got daggers to spare, we may as well. Really just doesn't seem to do anything. I do wish it would auto pick up daggers. It, it says that it does, but it, I, I guess it's reading my old action of picking up the dagger. So now the problem is I don't see a way out of here. Like there's these dagger um, symbols and there seems to be one in like every puzzle. Actually, I don't think I found the one in the in the pit trap room i really wish it wouldn't auto rotate me like that there's uh, no reason for it to do that to me i don't know did i was there maybe a uh, dagger symbol down here that i didn't see we didn't really fully explore this zone well, i mean we did but there wasn't a lot going on I'm going the extra mile and looking at everything. Oh, we could go back in here and have a look around. Um, I guess we'll throw a rock. I, I didn't get a chance. Like, there's one little spot in this zone that I didn't look at. Anything written on the walls that doesn't seem to be. Um, you really would think that those sewer grates would do more. Okay, well, uh, I have now fully explored the zone and I don't seem to find... Uh, I don't seem to be able to find a... Uh, A dagger symbol. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing another way out. We have another key, right? I wonder if this uh, axe is better. 
I don't know. I don't know how to like observe an axe or look at an axe. I think it's probably the same. Uh, we could probably give it to Dark Rose. Now they both have axes. I'm not sure if the axes are better, as they say. So where is our key? Who did I give it to? Dubs. Lock appears jammed. I mean, I put a I put a key in all of these holes. Right. So, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't go down here. There's a, a room in here I didn't. I, I completely missed. How did I miss that? Ooh, is that a magic dagger? What is that? Stone dagger taken. Okay, there we go. Now it's making sense. I have to assume that that is actually a key. I am, I'm actually like really enthralled by this game. This is really cool. Um, you know, I know it's like maybe some of it is dated. I think that you could do a remaster of this with uh, Grimrock graphics. I uh, Maybe not Grimrock. You know what? I would, I, we don't have to have animated monsters. I'm not, I'm cool with that. I would be, I would be fine with like Doom-esque, uh, like sprite-based monsters. Make them kind of like cardboard cutouts. But I think that it would be a lot of fun. No one is able to pry this door open. I, I, I've, I've talked a lot in the past about, oh, <laughs> rats. Okay. Okay. We've got a teleporter. I assume that's a teleporter. It's, it says T on the map. Wow. There's a lot in this direction that I completely missed. I'm hearing something. Uh, here's a keyhole. I've talked a lot about this in the past, but I, I, I have a couple of regrets um, when it comes to what happened to the Grimrock devs. If you don't know what happened to the Grimrock devs, they made a game um, called Legend of Grim. Um, not Legend of Grimrock. Yeah, I know they. I know you know they made Legend of Grimrock. Um, they made a game called Druidstone. I've played Druidstone on this channel. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I love it to death. It's wonderful. It's such a lovely game and it deserves more love. And um, it kind of killed the, the the studio. You know, like they, the you know, Legend of Grimrock devs, they didn't really want to make Legend of Grimrock 3. And I can't necessarily, like, can you like fault someone for not wanting to do the same thing three times in a row like there's clearly a lot of love time and effort put into legend of grimrock and make no mistake i love it it's one of my favorite games ever i just think it's kind of a shame that um in in our current like world we almost always punish someone for trying to do things differently, you know, like for for not just giving us more of the thing that they already did. No one is able to pry that open. Okay, so we gotta put something down on there. Um, now, am I saying do, would I love a Legend of Grimrock three? Am I saying I wouldn't love a Legend of Grimrock 3? I would, of course, love a Legend of Grimrock 3. Oh god, that was maybe a mistake. Um, bless. Okay, that worked really well. Oh my god. That, that worked shockingly well. That bless really was a blessing. Um, I, of course, would love a Legend of Grimrock 3, but, like, I just think that it's... I, I, I think it's always a shame if we don't allow someone to explore other things. That's how I feel about it. That's really just it. That's the end of that. Um, I love Druidstone, and I wish it, that, that it, it had done better. And I would have also, in addition to wanting a Grimrock 3, I would love 
to see it, uh, Druid Stone 2. But um, just to be true to my word for a moment, I, I also think that it would be nice to see them do anything they want. You know, like, I feel like the Legend of Grimrock devs have really um, proven themselves to be some of the most creative and passionate devs. And everything they make is is just, like, wonderful. Um, so I would play absolutely anything. If they wanted to make, like, a turn-based RPG, I would... I guess they kind of did, right? But I'm, I guess I'm talking more like JRPG, which is a dated term now that, that we've come to that conclusion. But you know what I mean? Like, I, if they made wanted to make my least favorite genre of game, is really what, what I'm saying, um, then I would still play it and I would still appreciate it. So there's two buttons in here. Oh, I see. There's a uh... See, this is a uh, this is the problem with an auto map tool is it uh, just like straight up shows you uh what's changing. Nice. Um, so if you if you didn't catch it, it the this kind of rats maze that I've I've been exploring um, changed quite dramatically. A couple of enter uh, you know access points became clear. Um, let's uh, let's feed everyone. I feel like I, I probably should end this episode because it is getting a little bit long in the tooth. I'm talking about Grimrock and Druidstone. I, I, I like. I would love. I already did a Druidstone playthrough, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that again, obviously. But um, I wouldn't mind doing a, a Legend of Grimrock playthrough. I think that that would be fun. It's just it's such a such a great game. I love it so much. And you know why am I bringing it up now? Because this is reminding me of it. And you know, like I, I'm one of the reasons I wanted to play these old school games is because, you know, it's very, uh, Grimrock wears its influence on its sleeve. And, uh, you know, I want to, I want to appreciate it's, you know, where it came from. Will I probably, you know, will I enjoy it as much as Grimrock? Probably not. It's, uh, you know, I, I definitely am a person that I, and I acknowledge this. I, I appreciate modern modernization. I appreciate uh, quality of life. Is this game harder to play now? Um, not as much as you'd think. I I, I actually really do appreciate the auto map tool. Um, is it making the game a little bit easier? Yeah, it is. Is that a good thing? Questionable. Definitely questionable. I I foresee people not. Uh, you know, wishing that I had played without it. But I am appreciating it for now. And it's not like it completely kills all of the puzzles. It definitely kills um, some of the uh, mystique of a, of a changing labyrinth. But if it was, you know, like, the alternative is, of course, me pulling out my nerd book and making a map and then going back and, and pressing a button and seeing what changes. And uh, ain't no one got time for that, honestly. This lock requires a key. Do you think it requires a stone key? Well, we have a we do have a normal key, but let's requires a key. Doesn't fit. Okay. I'm assuming we can't just force this door open. Nope. We have a teleporter. I forgot about the teleporter. We've almost wrapped in on ourselves here. You'd think that there might be a uh, shortcut somewhere. I do appreciate a shortcut. I feel like the shortcut single-handedly 
popularized Dark Souls. <laughs> I know it's a weird statement, but I honestly think that aside from the combat in Dark Souls, one of the things that people appreciated more than almost anything else is the idea of the shortcut. The idea that, you know, you've struggled hard. And in addition to things like quality of qualities, like um, gaining experience and equipment and stuff like that, possibly the most valuable thing you can give the player is the ability to not have to retread their same steps and not have to like struggle in the same way. I think that that, uh, that is one of the best uh, tools that you can give a player. So we can see how the the how the, the uh, labyrinth changes. <laughs> Very crafty, honestly, sneaky even. Putting that tool in the hands of the player. Wow. We probably could have avoided a lot of that damage. I, I do have a stone dagger, so I, I do have other things I can do, but I, I can't help but want to um, just like complete this map a little bit. Now that it is changed um, again, there's also this teleporting, this teleporter. Which I would like to. I'm, I'm still hearing footsteps. Undoubtedly, there is another monster in here somewhere. There's also a small keyhole that we don't really know what to do with. So let's go through here. Okay, so this, um, hmm. Oh, interesting. So again, if I didn't have the auto map tool, then this would be a, a bit more of a significant moment of like, oh, where am I? I have no idea where I am. I know exactly where I am. Um... There's a door here that I can't open. Let's try this stone key on this door. Where is it? There it is. No. Is this just a... Alright, let's try it here. No one is able to pry this. Hmm. I really thought this was something. item is not used in this way interesting hmm. I'm I'm very it's very curious to me what is the stone dagger for Oh, okay, that did it. That did it. So we do we do indeed throw the dagger. Oh wait, there was a pressure plate there. Huh. Uh I wonder I mean I, I, I see it in motion and yet I feel like I don't fully understand the the full implications of what we're what we're dealing with here i i see the 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 stone dagger seem to pass through things have i been through here i don't think i have entry level this room seems to move Huh. 
I, I feel like I need to end the episode. This is a, an interesting place to end it. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, I'll, there's a lot of doors. A lot of doors. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this uh, this series, my my recount of some of my d and isms my uh, experience with blobbers. Um, and uh, yeah, the my my bumbling through the dungeon of the eye of, of the beholder. Um, if you are, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.